We have all got a responsibility with these cars. The people that own these old cars are only the custodian for now. These cars will live forever. We as restorers have got a massive responsibility to keep the soul in the cars. What you have to do at some point in your life is to take the airbox top off a 246 Dino and have the trumpets open and take a Dino down the road and listen to the noise. It is amazing. Dino is, um, is, is a really interesting story. Dino is Alfredo Ferrari. Um, and Enzo and, and Laura had a son, and they called, they called him Alfredo, a name that was Enzo Ferrari's father and also Enzo Ferrari's brother. Alfredo was Alfred Dino, and Dino was the, the short name, it was, a, it was a nickname. Enzo had a dream, he, he, had, a, he had plans for Dino. He, he had, he was his heir, he was gonna take over Ferrari. Um, he was Enzo's future. A 24-year-old guy died. Um, it, it's a tragic, tragic thing. He had a, uh, he had a, a, a muscle wasting disease. But whilst at the, at the, at the latter end of his, of his years, Enzo Ferrari said, basically, I do what you want. You know, I love you and, and you know, the factory is your factory and, uh, and do what you want. What Dino wanted to do, what his vision was, was to produce a smaller engine car. He, he said, you know, Father, I can, I can put your cars into Formula 2 with the, the little two-litre engines. And Enzo just let him do what he wanted to do, and he came up with the little engine Ferraris. And, um, and they were, were 206s, 206 SPs and, and uh, GP cars. Uh, 206 really means two-litre six-cylinder. And then it became a brand because, because Ferrari built cars, 12-cylinder cars, proper 12 cylinder car, the expensive cars. He, he wouldn't brand Dino's efforts as a Ferrari, he branded them as a Dino. They weren't perfect, okay? It said that the cars were made, the bodies were made out of cheap Russian metal and they rusted quite easily. The electrics were ridiculous. They were a nightmare. But they were beautiful. They were a piece of art. I mean, this, this thing was well in front of its time in 1968 when the world saw the 206. It, it was an amazing shape. Everybody just fell in love with the shape. Um, the way it drove was, for me, um, the first experience I've ever experienced of a mid-engine motor car that you can actually steer on the throttle. I think they, they got their first attempt at, at mid-engine cars absolutely spot on. I think it's a little bit underpowered. But hey, at the end of the day, you sit, you sit in a Dino and you just, you just enjoy what it is. You sit in the car and, and you sat very low down and you're looking through the windshield, which is a very curved windshield, a bit like a Le Mans car, and you can see these beautiful wings covering the wheels. It, it was an amazing shape. 